Welcome to video 76 in series 3 and in this video I'm going to write the enemy nav pursue script. Just before I do that though, this is pretty much how my enemy movement system works and it's comprised of three different scripts. First of all, in the update you can imagine this is running repeatedly in the update or I'll just imagine it's just running repeatedly. So can the player see the, uh, well, can the enemy see the player? Can they detect them? If that is so, then pursue them to the last seen position. So you've already seen that this is covered by the player, well, the enemy detection script. And now this part is what you're going to write, where it pursues the player. And this will be another script where have we reached the destination? Has the enemy reached the destination? If they have, then keep on doing this process. Go back to the detection and uh, checking for them. But it's all independent, so I've actually taken this system and really simplified it. I've broken it all up into pieces. So this one is one script. This is another script. This is another script that you're going to write in the next video. And here's the wonder script as well. So this is just, I thought I'd just show this to you because this is a little bit of how I try and plan things out to sort of build a system. I need something to start from. Otherwise, I'm just, you know, just be making stuff and no way to actually check that, check the logic that it actually works. So I always recommend that you do draw something when your systems are getting a little bit more complicated. And then when you start coding it, it'll end up looking quite different anyway. But anyway, okay, let's keep going and let's write that script. Okay, so I'll write the enemy nav pursue script right now. So enemy nav pursue. And I'll just start with the variables private enemy master, enemy master, private nav mesh agent, my nav mesh agent, private float check rate, private float next check. And that does remind me, I do need to make uh, a little bit, I will add two new booleans to the enemy master script. So head back to the enemy master script and add two booleans. Public bool is on root and public bool is nav paused. Okay, so these are very important and you're going to see because this is what the navigation system will rely on, the condition of these two booleans. All right, so going back, I won't need the start method and I'll have two new uh, methods here. So void try to chase target and void disable uh, this. Okay. Right, so in its set initial references, I'll say enemy master is get component, enemy master, and nav mesh agent. Well, for that, first of all, if get component, nav mesh agent is not equal to null, Then in that case, nav mesh agent, no, not that, nav, my nav mesh agent rather, is equal to get component nav mesh agent. Okay. Then I'll just set that, set initial references, and I might as well while I'm at it, enemy master dot event enemy die plus equal disable this. Okay, so in disable this, I'll say if my nav mesh agent is not equal to null, then my nav mesh agent dot enabled is equal to false, and then separately this dot enabled is equal to false. So the update method won't keep running on and on. In update, I will say if time dot time is greater than next check. Oops, there we go then next check is equal to time dot time plus check rate oh and i just remembered something i should set that check rate as well so i should give it a uh, value so check rate is equal to random dot range 0.1 f to 0.2 f okay so that'll be my check rate 
Now I need to actually go ahead and uh, just call that method here. Try to chase target. Okay, so here I'll say if enemy master dot my target not equal to null and my nav mesh agent not equal to null and not enemy master dot is nav pause. So nav pause will get set when the enemy is struck by something. So if they're hurt, then their navigation will be paused for a little bit so that they don't continue to follow the player while they're hurt. Okay, so my nav mesh agent dot set destination that will be enemy master dot my target dot position. Okay. And I want to call the event that uh, the enemy is walking now and to say that they're en route, but only do that if they're far away enough from the uh, player, uh, well, their destination rather. So to do that, you check if my nav mesh agent dot a remaining distance is greater oops is greater than my nav a mesh agent dot stopping distance not stop stopping distance that's better okay so if that is the case i'll say enemy master dot call event enemy walking this will cause the walking animation to uh, start playing and enemy master dot is on route is equal to true. They're going somewhere. This is very important. Okay, uh, I think I've actually got that done. Uh, looks like it's complete, actually. So, how about I go to Unity, attach it on. Mm -hmm. Just put that there. Apply. Okay, let's see what happens. Okay, so let me just get rid of the blocks. Right, they can see us and they start pursuing. And what just happened there? Looks like they got stuck in something. Oh no. They're not stuck. You see, that's the next video, actually. That's what I was wondering. Why is he still walking? What's he still walking for? It's because next video, I'll write the next script, which is uh, to check if we've reached the destination. So in fact, the golem has reached the destination and they've come up to the player, they've walked to the player, but they just keep on walking. So we need to write another script that checks uh, when they've actually reached their destination. Okay, and actually, Already the player can hide. If I have a look at that, you can see that they've lost their target because I went behind the wall and the line cast couldn't see the player. So then they uh, pretty much couldn't, well, they couldn't see the player. Now, another thing I need to do is uh, just to make it more interesting while we're at it, while we're here, make another cube, call this one wall, call the original, well, original one uh, wall. There we go. And, uh, well, make this one wall as well. And take it, move it. Uh, change the rotation to like 90 degrees, bring it back, something like that, okay. And for both of them, set them to static, go to navigation, rebake it, good, now it'll be part of the nav mesh for the golem. Uh, going back, now if we hit play, now we get a bit more interesting uh, sort of uh, behavior where they aren't just getting stuck inside the wall, so let me run behind and hide. There you go. So you can see the golem can't see the player and he's just, well, animating on the spot. Right. So excellent work. So in the next video, I will write the script for checking uh, to determine, you know, have we reached the destination? And that's pretty much it. All right. So thanks for watching and see you in that video.